conspiracy of silence. You know, code of omerta among doctors. It's like reporters, except for me, I guess. But um, no, there was a doctor who testified. He runs a clinic in Delaware County. I think it was Delaware County. And he was put on the stand by the prosecution. He runs a <coughs> Planned Parenthood clinic. And um, he was put on the stand by Ed Cameron, the, the assistant district attorney, to give the jury a sense of compare and contrast a good abortion clinic as to opposed to that crappy one that Gosnell was running down there on Lancaster Avenue. And so he was quizzing him, and you know, this is what you do, and this is how you keep things nice and clean. And um, Ed Cameron asked this guy, Doctor, uh, how, many, how, how long have you been in practice? And he said, 30 years. And in those 30 years, how many abortions have you performed? And without missing a beat, he said, 40,000. <gasps> and at that moment, if you're a Catholic pro-lifer, you're looking at one of the world's worst mass murderers. At that moment. But it's funny how it doesn't register to a lot of people. Not missing a beat. Yes, ma'am. How abortion paid for? Well, um, in Gosnell's case, uh, cash. A lot of it was cash because he ran a mostly cash business. Um, when the when the police went into his house, they found a, a quarter million dollars in cash, hidden in boxes in his daughter's bedroom. Um, you know, his no weight abortions uh, for cash uh, is the way to go when you want to get rid of a problem. You know, to consider a baby a problem. So uh, in his case, he was he ran a mostly cash business. He owned. Five uh, properties in three different states. He's a very wealthy man. Yes, sir. Did you notice or witness any 